All right, happy Friday to you, and it is Black Friday, of course, the day after Thanksgiving. Big shopping day for some of you, others maybe at home, relaxing, eating some leftovers, enjoying some sports on TV, just taking it easy. If you have the day off, enjoy yourselves. If you're going to be out shopping and basically in a lot of traffic, <laughs> try to get those deals, try to be safe out there and enjoy. I want to give you an update on what's happening in the tropics. It is still a little active out there. We've only got about six days left in the 2023 hurricane season, but we've still got a few systems that we continue to track. So let's start off in the central Atlantic and we're monitoring this area here of showers and storms. This is basically a non tropical low that we are tracking, but there's still a low 20% chance that this non tropical low could briefly gain sub tropical or tropical characteristics and there's a small chance it could become a tropical depression or maybe even tropical storm vents over the next few days. However, the chance for that happening has gotten lower and lower over the last few days and now it's not really looking like it's going to happen. Like I said, that chance has dropped to 20%. It is drifting off to the north and east and by Sunday, if it doesn't happen, that window to develop into a tropical system will likely close by then because it's going to be pushing into much cooler water in the northern Atlantic. So overall, it looks like this system is not really that impressive at this point. The chance for it becoming tropical storm vents looked pretty good a few days ago, but now not so much. Let's hop over to the eastern Pacific and we also have tropical depression 20 E. It's this area here and it's got 35 mile per hour winds, not extremely organized at this point, but it is moving to the north northwest at three miles per hour with pressure right around 1006 millibars. So here is the track for Tropical Depression 20E. By noon on Saturday, it should still have 35 mile per hour winds and it should still be a tropical system. However, by Sunday, the models are basically having this system to lose its tropical characteristics and becoming a post tropical low with still 35 mile per hour wind. So as you can see, it's not expected to blow up and become a big time tropical storm or hurricane and certainly not a major hurricane, but it is going to maintain its tropical depression status likely through Saturday, early Sunday, it will likely turn into a post tropical system. So I don't think we're going to have too many issues with this. It's out there over the open water and it's not expected to hit land at this point. So that is good news. We do have those two systems, but at least they're not expected to pose a lot of issues since they are kind of way out there. As far as water temperatures, things are looking better across the Gulf of Mexico. Water temperatures are starting to cool down. We've got those temps down into the 70s. Of course, we've had some of those stronger cold fronts dropping in from the north and pushing across the Gulf. So that means those temps have cooled down some. And of course, that decreases our chance for tropical development. Different story though, as we look down towards the Caribbean. Water temps still in the 80s showing up there, low to middle 80s for the Western, Central, Eastern Caribbean. So there's still a low chance we could have some development here. So we'll have to watch that closely, but things are winding down and the time for these systems to pop up and develop is starting to wind down as well. We've only got about six more days in our hurricane season for this year. And typically the amount of activity out there of a tropical nature is usually on the low side, but we do still have those couple of systems that we're monitoring. But as I mentioned, overall, the chance is getting lower and lower for us to get anything of a tropical variety day by day. We have had several named storms though, starting off with Arlene towards the beginning of the season and most recently Tammy. We've still got Vitz and Whitney on the list of potential names to use, but it looks like the chances are getting lower that we will have to use those. So that is a good thing. So we'll likely end up with about 20 named storms, seven hurricanes, three major hurricanes for this season. Of course, that is above normal for our number of named storms and right around average for the number of hurricanes, including major hurricanes. So it is very interesting that we are at the end of hurricane season. It's gone by so fast, but the good news is that we were not hit by any tropical systems across Houston or any other parts of Southeast Texas this season. We weren't hit last season either, so hopefully we can get through this next six days and that will be two seasons in a row that we were spared any hits from any tropical depressions, tropical storms or hurricanes. That is a great thing because you know they can be catastrophic. So that's good news for us. We'll continue to monitor this last little bit of hurricane season just in case we get anything interesting popping up out there. And of course, if we do have development, we will let you know as soon as we see it. Also, make sure to grab our Fox 26 weather app from the App Store. You can get your latest 
tropical weather forecast cones, our follow me feature, and of course any hurricane or tropical storm alerts that we could potentially have. Of course, it's a great tool to also keep track of your local weather while you're out doing your holiday shopping, maybe out with family friends that are in town. Make sure you have the Fox 26 weather app. You can track whatever is popping up on the radar. You can get your local forecast, a summary of it, videos, anything you need weather-wise, you can find it there. Well, I'm Fox 26 meteorologist from Misha Shea. That is your latest tropical update for this Black Friday. Have a great rest of your day and have a great weekend.